Uh, hello, everyone. This is Daniel here. Um, I'm here. Uh, this is like the everything show. And um, wow, finally, I'm back. I'm so happy. Uh, I hope this never happens again. But you know, okay, whatever. Uh, we don't know the future. Anyways. Um, hi, Joe. How are you? What's up, bro? Oh, did you hear the news? Yes. Quentin Tarantino, on December 4th, they announced it. Quentin Tarantino and J.J. Abrams are uh, hatching a script for a new Star Wars TV series. No, 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 Star Trek movie. Sorry about that. I can't get that out of my head. Um, That's all right. You're excited, I know. I did, a, I did a video already about it, but yes. Yes. I am beyond ecstatic. I love Quentin Tarantino movies. I've seen majority of them. I didn't see all of them. I, I still didn't see Hateful Dead, but, you know, I've seen majority of them, and they're really excellent movies if you didn't see them, Daniel. But uh, I the Star Trek needs some new blood and to boldly go where no director has gone before. And right now, the, the fact that he wants to do a Star Trek movie with J.J. Abrams, combined effort, possibly tweaking... J.J. Abrams' script, possibly whatever, uh, based on City on the Edge of Forever, probably mixture of why Kirk's father is going to appear. I don't know. Something's going to happen. I got to tell you, it's very, very exciting times mm -hmm. to be a Trekkie, okay? Um, with Discovery not catching on to everyone, as the other shows have, uh, it, I still can't get into it. I know you like it. That's fine. Yeah, but they started filming. They started filming season two on November twentieth, uh, twenty seventeen. So it's 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 pretty good. Yeah. So I I always said when we did cast about Star Trek Beyond, I said it then that there is definitely going to be a sequel to Star Trek. I am quoted in the Everything Show in the Real Trekkies cast. I've said it. That people are like, no, it failed. It didn't fail. I said it over and over again. I was like, if it failed, they wouldn't be talking about a sequel right after. J.J. Abrams basically says it's definitely going to happen. And you know what? I'm glad that I was right, and I'm glad that there is another Star Trek movie. And again, you should be happy too. And yeah. I know you are. I just, I just, I just hope that it'll like, you know, I mean, I, I remember like, there were rumors that they're, they're going to do a multiverse plot in this movie or something, and see. We thought the same thing with the last one, but it didn't happen. So right. there's all new ideas now. I, I oh. think, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit more reserved for this one because I was so excited for last one, I but know. it didn't happen. So I got my heart broken for the last one. So you know, I, 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 it's understandable that I'm not exactly as excited as I was last right. time. Okay, I'm a little bit more reserved, but I'm still excited. Well, yeah, I mean, again, I am, I like the last one. I know you didn't like the last one. Um, yeah. But it just, it, just, it just wasn't – it didn't have a certain element that I – Right, I know. But listen, this, these are good times. I mean, we got Star Trek, a new one coming out. Mm -hmm. We got The Last Jedi coming yeah. out next week. I'm so psyched for that. Yeah, I'm going to go see that. It's going to be so good. Uh, we talked briefly before about – you know, Ryan Johnson basically doing a new trilogy of Star of Star Wars movies. Yeah. And it was confirmed. I saw your, your video with Steampunk, but it's been confirmed it's not the Knights of the Old Republic. Oh? Not. It is officially not the Knights so of the gonna Old be, Republic. So it's going to be after Episode Nine. I don't know. No, 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 no. There's going to – okay, there's two trilogies that are going to happen, Okay. 10, 11, and 12 are still happening. In fact, I, I, you made an announcement, too, that Daisy, Daisy Ridley is not going to do it. It turns out, and I was talking to everybody before, and I said what's going to happen is Disney's going to go to Daisy Ridley, and they're going to tell her, we're going to give you this amount of money. Of course you're going to do more. And then she came out, and she basically said that her words didn't come out right and that she's definitely going to be doing 10, 11, and 12. So now she is a part of that. And she's integral to 10, 11, 12 because if she wasn't in it, it would screw up all the plans. And they have plans for her. So, again, um, 
they are taking over the franchise, obviously. So they need to do more moves. Around. So now they're not going to have a huge break like they originally did, like they were talking about 10 years. No, it will probably be like a five-year break or or three-year break. And then they'll, they'll do episode 10. Now, after episode nine, we'll probably see, um, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. Uh, if Han Solo bombs, okay, like we all were agreeing that Darth Vader movie will happen if Han Solo bombs. That's the only way we'll see a Darth Vader movie if Han Solo movie bombs because they got to make back that. They never had a Star Wars movie fail. So they can't have that. So um, even though this is a spinoff, but there'll probably be the first chapter of the new trilogy before that will be the break before 10, 11, and 12. So in other words, you'll have the trilogy completed and then we'll get 10, 11, and 12. Wow. Very exciting. Yeah. So, that'd be cool. So yeah, I know you're excited about two trilogies at the same time, plus spinoff movies, which I'm yeah, excited. Well, but the spinoff movies are always going to be prequels, right? They're never going to take place after the... Uh, after you the never movie. know. They might. They might take place in present time. They may take place far in the future. That would be cool. I would like that. Now, we got other news besides Star Wars and Star Trek. Um, we got some huge deals going down where Marvel... It's been like basically. They bought Fox. It, well, they we've been, Fox. we've been. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's solid that we got the Fantastic Four back. As far as X Men and Deadpool goes, I don't know. There might be a deal to have Deadpool star or the X Men star, but I don't think we're going to get the X Men back for Disney and Deadpool. I think that we're going to get Doctor Doom, Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, Kang the Conqueror, all the people related to the Fantastic Four. I think that Marvel purchased them that with Disney. They're going to have it for Disney's label. Um, my concern also is what else are they going to get? Now, they don't have the rights to Star Wars Empire and Jedi original cut, which they want. So that they're probably going to get. Um, we don't know if they are giving Disney Alien, Predator, Species, The Fly, Independence Day, or any of the other franchises that they have. If they get Independence Day, that may be a huge deal. Um, and again, if they have The Fly, they were going to remake The Fly, and that was a very, very popular also franchise. So there's a lot going on. Um, Phase four of Marvel will probably be Fantastic Four, obviously. I think that's going to happen. Um, but the possibilities are endless. If Marvel gets the, the X-Men, Hugh Jackman will be back. He said it. If they get the X-Men, he wants to have X-Men vs. Avengers, he'll be back. And that would be fantastic. Um, probably have one more movie in him for Wolverine, if that's the case. So what do you think? I mean, there's all like good things happening, dude. I mean, you yeah, should be excited lots, about this stuff. Of good I mean, stuff. Oh, yeah, it's really exciting. It's, you know, all this I mean, cool stuff. I like it. And also, like going back to Star Wars, we're gonna get a Star Wars live action TV series. Like I said. Yes, like, that's dude. gonna be excellent. We're gonna have a streaming service. I mean, yeah. are, you, are, are you gonna buy the seasons when they come out? I'm. I am buying the. I am paying for. I am going to be paying for, a hundred percent the Disney streaming service to watch Star Wars on streaming service. Yeah. I am going to have that every single month when it comes so, out. Exactly. Well, what, what do you think the time period is going to be for this? Do you think it's going to, I'm hoping it's after episode nine. I don't know, but I know that it's not just Star Wars. They're going to have special Marvel superheroes, TV shows on the streaming service. Mm -hmm. They're going to have different ones. I mean, Netflix has Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Defenders. Yeah, they I, are going. They are going to and Punisher. They're going to have different ones on the streaming service. They may have. Um, I don't know. They may have New Warriors. They may have. Uh, you know, the Hulk may have a series or Black Widow or Hawkeye. You don't know. So I honestly, 
am excited about the Disney streaming service now because mm -hmm. once they said Star Wars, you got me. Um, I was also, you know, I'm getting excited that Gremlins is coming back with oh, sequels. Yeah. Um, someone made a fan film yesterday I was watching. It was pretty cool. But Gremlins is coming back in a big way. The guy that directed Thor Ragnarok was offered a job as a director of a Star Wars movie. That's big news. He is pushing for Thor 4. That is big news. Um, besides Star Wars, besides Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica is going to be on the way to the movies. So Battlestar Galactica is going to be rebooted again. Stargate is going to be rebooted again in the movies. Um, a lot of exciting stuff. I thought they, I thought they were going to make a prequel to the original. They're still going to do movies, still besides so TV. Wait, so, so that so the original continuity of of, of Stargate. I don't know. I know that I heard that they're going to do both movies and shows. So that's exciting. Um, what else is it? Reboot. I mean, so what, what do you mean? What do you mean reboot? You mean continuation or a no. full on reboot? Full on reboot, I believe, for the movies. So okay. I mean that that's exciting. Um, of course, there's even more. Yeah, I mean we got Lost in Space that's going to be appearing on Netflix. There's talk of Space 1999, which is going to be rebooted. Yeah. I, I heard they're going to reboot Prisoner again. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of movies that are coming, man, that are going to be so exciting to see. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings is going to be on, I believe, Amazon. Oh, I heard that. I heard that they 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 dropped it. No, HBO don't want it because they have Game of Thrones. Oh, but Amazon has it. So, so wait, wait, Lord of the Rings TV show. What is it going to be? Is it going to be like a Amazon uh, Prime? Yeah, yeah. Is it going to be like a reboot or is it going to be like a sequel? To I it? don't know. Dude. And then we got Star Trek. Now, Star Trek Discovery, we, they already filmed, of course, the other half of season one. That's coming, you know, in January. Yeah, they started um, filming season two, and they started filming season two on the 20th of November, so that's, that's pretty good. Okay. And then we have the secondary Star Trek show, which is going to be going into production and getting get the sets built. We don't know for sure now if it is the con thing because I'm hearing differently. But again, um, they're going to try to go for two shows. Now, this show might not be um, totally CBS All Access. This show might be actually on CBS mm -hmm. because I know that they're losing like their audience. They're not, they don't have a they don't have a hundred percent audience as they would if it was because again not a lot of people pay for all access in fact some people are getting it for free which is not going to help discovery you know so but again i mean i'm still gonna i, I got caught up with discovery i gotta finish oh, and that we're hearing now with ghostbusters that they're going to do a crossover movie possibly that they're working it out the comic was very successful beyond belief, beyond expectations. And Ivan Reitman had said that he's going to do everything in his power to try to get a crossover movie made um, mm -hmm. with the original, you know, where was off, where was off the original Ghostbusters and the new team, and possibly a third team, which would yeah. be interesting. So, so what about you, Daniel? What have you been up to? How oh, you doing? I've, been, um, I've been really, um, yeah, I've been, I've been going here and there and, you know, doing some Christmas shopping, you know, and you excited for Christmas. What are you getting for Christmas? Oh yeah. Uh, I got myself a new star Wars trilogy, you know, four five and six. I have the, I bought the whole box out of everything. Yeah. It was like $30. It was, it was like cheap because usually it's like 40, you no know, 50 bucks, you know, and right. But since it's like, you know, December, it's, it's cheaper. So I'm like, yay, you know, it, it still costs an arm and a leg because it's thirty over 30 bucks. But okay, you know, it's Star yeah. Wars, you know? Okay. And, um, yeah, you know, I just... Are um, you, uh, you have a PS4? Not yet. I'm, I'm still saving up for it. and But there's not, there's not very much for PS4, you know, and there's, PS3 is still out there. So well, like, I mean, when do you think PS3 is going to completely disappear? Soon. I mean, PS... There's even talk about PS5, which... Again, I, I, 
we'll probably get a PS4 at some yeah. point in time. I, I really want to get Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS4, but the thing is, everybody complains about it. Like, oh, it's a it's a horrible game, and they're making us, you know, pay money for you gotta, all You got to judge it yourself. I mean, I, 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 yeah. when the kids came, I played Call of Duty, um, you know, World War with the zombies. In fact, I was even playing with James. Um, me and Joe were playing with James on um, on there, and he was assisting us to fight the zombies. It was pretty fun, actually. Mm -hmm. So I do want to have my own system again. Wait, how much did it cost? Like, how much does a PS PS3 cost? PS3? No, PS4. Sorry. PS4. PS4 I mean, like it's over two hundred bucks. I don't know, two fifty. I'm not really sure now what it is, but they had the Black Friday sales. You could have got it for two hundred bucks plus a good oh, card. Oh man. Darn. Yeah. So, so I mean, you know, it's, um... I mean, I already bought two of them, you know, for the kids. So and then they, I bought the VR for them and everything, but. I'm gonna so like, probably anyways, take one for myself. You know, like when are they gonna film Star Wars Episode Nine? Is like January or February? I heard. Not around. sure, man. You know better than me right now. I think. Yeah, I don't so, know. Like, but you know, like, Star Wars is like the biggest thing now. You know, because they've announced the TV series. The TV series. That's what I'm excited about. It's really yeah. Funny, yeah, but the TV series. That's what I'm excited about because, like, you know, I heard like you know, for example, a lot of Star Wars YouTubers are, are saying stuff like. Okay, um, they're hoping that the, the new trilogy is going to be Old Republic and uh, the TV series is going to be post episode nine. Right. Because, like, that makes sense because in 2019, we're going to get episode nine, but then in 2019, the live action series comes out. So that'll make sense if you do it after episode nine because that'll be the, the time period that's most fresh in people's minds. So they could do that. I mean, I hope they do that. You know, I, I, I would take anything Star Wars, though. Yeah. I, I love it. But um, also, moving on, um, did you well, see... Well, let, um, let me go into this, because I just want to show off the ah, new, cool, yeah. the big storyline, Venom Incorporated, uh, Alpha Issue, Dance Lot. So I'm going to read that tonight, and I will do a review on it, probably without spoilers, because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Oh, did you um, see... Oh, yeah. sorry. Did did you see did you see the um the crossover? Oh, how great was that? That was amazing. That was the greatest crossover ever. That blows away Justice League. Okay. Yeah, but I heard I heard that this crossover had less viewers than no. the last crossover. No, that's bull crap. Total bull crap. That this was amazing viewership. Amazing. This was the best crossover they ever had, and this last year. The crossover was so big that it basically greenlit green all the shows for renewal next year. Now, this year, they didn't green light anything yet. The only thing I think is almost greenlit is Arrow, which, again, it's the Arrowverse. So it, sh it has to be greenlit because if that's not greenlit, then nobody's safe. Okay, so... You know, when you hear the arrows greenlit, you're like, okay, you feel it can breathe a little bit. All right, you know, because that's the main thing. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that Supergirl and Flash are gonna get renewed. As far as Legends of Tomorrow goes, um, I'm hoping it gets renewed. But if it does get renewed, I think that next year will be the last season because there's only so much you could do with them. Oh. I love time. that show. Yeah. That, that's my favorite show. I mean, I, for me, it's Legends is number one, Flash is number two, Arrow is number three, and Supergirl is number four. But Supergirl, last Monday, was unfreaking believable. Like, and if you didn't see it, you got to see it because she got face to face with Rain. Did you see it? I saw pictures of it. Oh my God, dude, what are you waiting for? But it's Earth 38. Earth 38 kind of, it doesn't have the same feel. Dude, stop it. Just watch it, man. It was amazing. I got to tell you. So, yeah. but the Flash, that that's that was a shocking uh, season cliffhanger. You saw it? I haven't seen it yet. That was amazing. And Legends of Tomorrow had a shocking cliffhanger as well. Which Yeah, you know, and uh, see, you know what? Okay, like, um... I heard that um, Captain Cold, the guy who plays Captain Cold, Wentworth Miller, he he's leaving the Arrowverse like. For he's good. in Legends of Tomorrow now. 
I know, but he said he's leaving the Arrowverse, but for some reason he's on Legends tomorrow. So did he lie or something? No, he is going to leave. I mean, because when he made that interview, he already finished filming. Oh, so um, he's not going to—he's not going to join the Legends. No, he is. No, okay. He already filmed these episodes, so when oh. he's doing an interview now, they're already got to be aired still. Okay. So if he's leaving, then it could be you will see him probably finally appear in June, possibly, or who knows. But he's already done, you know. But I think he'll come back. I, I honestly think that when people take breaks, they tend to want to come back, and I think that you know it will happen. So, what do you think of Deadpool? I haven't seen Deadpool. Do I, oh, okay. You haven't seen any of the movies? No. All right. Have you watched Walking Dead or no? Uh, not yet. But okay. um, Brian is showing me pieces of it, and it looks it looks good. You know, Walking I, I Dead's like... really well. Walking Dead was great. Mm-hmm. Now it's not great, but I mean, hopefully, it gets to be great again. I don't know, you but think, you think um, you think um, Negan is going to join Rick in the end? No, I don't think so. I don't think they're going to go with what happened in the comics. I think that Negan is going to kill Carl, or. Daryl or somebody and it's going to be completely different. I think that uh, You know, I, I thought that Carl got bit but then again, I don't know if he definitely was and uh, I think they're gonna shake some stuff up a little bit because they need to I mean, it's been dragging this whole season. So oh. you know, We need to get out of the drag. There you go huh, Okay, so but anyways, like this crossover. Are you excited was... about Doctor Who? Uh, no, not really. Okay. But anyways, like going back to the crossover thing, I loved it. I loved the crossover. It was so good. Um, I definitely got to get Supergirl season three because it's a part of the crossover this time. And um, yeah, you need season three of Supergirl to get the whole crossover. Yes. So, yeah, you know. Um, you need to but... watch though. Listen. I am shocked that you didn't see the after effects of the crossover, which wow. happens. They mention stuff. I mean, you got to see it. I mean, you know, you have to see Supergirl, Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. You have to. But also, you know, I got to say, I, I, I really – oh, I forgot. Darn it. Um, Too much stuff going on, right? Oh, no. I, I know, I know. It's like, you know, I'm having a brain freeze Did you here. see any movies in the theater lately? Oh, no, I'm waiting for Star Wars. You didn't see Justice League? Uh, I heard Dark Side and Apocalypse wasn't going to be in there, so I'm like, no, I'm not watching it. No, okay. But, you know. Justice League's at 573 right now. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, cool. And Thor is at 820 million. Wow. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you cry? Did you cry when Stein died? I did. I was so upset, man. I was like, I couldn't believe they did that. And now I'm Jax, shocked. And now Jax wants to leave. So I'm like, who are they going to? Re- who are they going to replace these guys? Dude, with? you got it. You got to see what happened. You can't. You, I'm surprised, man. You got to get. You got to watch. Already, you already. They already. You know, it's big news. What happens in religions? So. So like, yeah, you know, just um. But who are they going to replace them with? I mean, I heard Constantine may, may join the Legends, but... Well, dude, like, you didn't see the finale, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's like, the finale, man? Uh, Constantine? No. If I was in charge, I would say, okay, um, Captain Cole would be one of them, and uh, Kid Flash. I think Kid Flash should come to Legends. He should. What about Jurassic World? Are you into that? No, you know because I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't want Kid Flash to go on the new Teen Titans. I'm not going to watch that, by the way, because that that looks so stupid. Hmm. Okay. Looks like Ben Affleck is uh, does not want to come back. He's Batman. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Maybe in Flashpoint, but that's a wow. Well, that's Ooh. a loss. Huh. So, yeah. That's a big loss. David Tennant's coming back as Purple Man. How great is that? Wait, he died. Well, 
you know. Didn't she break his neck or something? Well, yes, but again, if you read the comics, you know what I'm saying? I can spoil anything. But I'm glad David Tennant's back, man. David Tennant is Kilgrave. He's Scrooge McDuck. David Tennant's doing everything. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you know that uh, Magic at the Spell in DuckTales is Donna Noble? Did you know that? Uh, I don't. I haven't watched You're DuckTales. Missing out, bro. Missing out. All right. So we're going to get out of here right now. So good to see you again, Daniel. Yeah. I'm glad you're back. It's cool. And we're, we're doing more casts throughout this Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So a lot of exciting news that we're going to be sharing with you. I'm going to be looking yeah. forward to getting some Doctor Who, Who Whovian's cast out there. Can't wait to see Capaldi's last. Um, there's a lot to talk about. So we'll have more for you tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Daniel. I'll see you. Yeah. Take care. Bye for now.